That is an awesome road. Look at that. Right, morning folks. Day one of the Around the UK rides, about uh, half eight at the moment. Just got the Land's End, met up with Lionel and Gary, who are very kindly going to uh, accompany me for the first section. Not too bad here. I was expecting fire and brimstone and lashing rain, but it's uh, it's not bad at all. Bit windy, so I won't be able to get the drone up. I don't fancy losing it right at the start. Right, this is Lionel. Lionel. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much for coming along and joining. That's all right, yeah, it's a pleasure. Looking uh, forward to it. Where are you from? Well, I'm from Exeter. I've lived there since my early teens, really. Excellent. Yeah. And you're riding the Suzuki? I'm riding the Suzuki, yeah. Suzuki 1200 Bandit, the old beast. Beautiful. Yeah, go uh, on forever. And how far are you guys coming with me to do? Um, we'll try and make it up as far as Bridgewater. Maybe a bit further, see how it goes. and. Uh, Excellent. Thanks very much okay. for coming along. Okay, cheers. If you've never heard of Nathan before, Nathan Millward. Google him. He rode this bike. That one there. It's a posty bike. 105cc I think it is. He rode it all the way from Sydney to Australia a few years ago. Mental. Cracking lad. Alright Nathan, greetings. I'm out. Uh, welcome uh, to the start of the garbage run, a loosely based uh, ride from the uh, Land's End to Johnny Groats. Uh, just an open invitation I put out and I think we've got 30 coming, maybe 33. Currently we've got 15 and 16 turned up. Small bikes was uh, not the preference but the suggestion. So we've got MSX125, C90, Sam on my posty bike, CB200s. So yeah, we're just going to make a, an eight day trip from here to Johnny Groats, trying to take as many scenic roads, back roads as possible, just to stay away from busy traffic. It really. Well, we're going to have end destinations for the end of the day, so if anybody wants to go off and do different things, they, they can do a meet us later, camping. Uh, yeah, so we're about all set to go. Well, we will be when uh, nerves have calmed down a little bit, a bit nervous. Never been in a group ride before, never led anyone, so I'll. But I, I want people to experience adventure in, you know, in eight days, we're going to have, a, I think, quite a big adventure, really. Yeah, people definitely. are going to get lost, people are going to break down, people, it's going to be wet, it's going to be windy, it's going to be miserable, it's going to be like, I, I, went, I suppose we went around the world on that little bar, but I think this eight days is going to be that condensed. The same emotions, same situations, same feelings, yep. just in a manageable way. You know, it's sort of Land's End Johnny Goats, anybody can do with a week's holiday. So uh, I think that's, that was the whole point of it to just get people out on bikes. Nice. And that's always the point, isn't it? Brilliant. I'll try and keep the Facebook updated. It just, it's just Nathan Millward, Bike Traveller on Facebook. Excellent. All right, bud. Cheers, mate. Thanks nice one. See you up there. All right, folks, it's nine o'clock, and that is us hitting the road. <laughs> All right, chaps. That sounds throaty. <laughs> so off we go. It's a nice little road this, it's a beautiful day, a bit windy so I gutted I couldn't get the drone up but uh, probably best not to lose the drone before I've even started the ride. Look at all that. I love this bike, I absolutely love this bike. It makes any kind of riding effortless. Check that out, beautiful. No idea what it's called, but wow. Take it that might be Long Rock then. Well, we've just come up from Land's End on the A30 and then we turned off onto the A39. It's about 20 past 10 in the morning and the traffic's starting to build. I've got Lionel and Gary behind me, they're probably thinking, come on fat boy, hurry up. But it's good to have them along, hope they're enjoying it. <sighs> Need a coffee. It's good, 30 miles an hour and a 60. Awesome. Right, we've got Lionel and Gary up ahead. And I think Lionel is going to take us to a calf somewhere. Hmm, it appears I've been holding them up. <laughs> I do love the A39, it's a cracking bit of road in places. Do this on a sports bike, it is proper naughty. On the GS, you just feel you're out for a stroll, I assure you. It's uh, progressive. I like that. Wow, look at that. Cornwall. Calf for a bit of splosh. Cherrywood Diner. A39 and this road is awesome in places. It's got 
got a mixture of everything. Got some real tight twisty bits, the open bits. It's a very, very naughty stretch of road, particularly on sports bikes. Having the GS should, should at least keep you out of jail. The grunt of this thing is just beautiful. Perfect for these type of roads. Effortless overtaking. I want to be selective with what I record here, but it's just such good fun, this road. One of these sections where you just feel like you are flying along in a spitfire or something, you know? Banking left and right and up and down. Great fun. And then you meet cars and they spoil it all. Prime Minister, Mrs. May, as I imagine it will be Mrs. May for quite some time. Mrs. May, could you decree that we have one day a week, only vehicles allowed on the roads and motorcycles, please? And there is no speed limit, it's just in a appropriate speed can be dealt with. Oh, because that way all the idiots will kill themselves and will very quickly just be left with decent riders who for one day a week or even one day a month can just go out and enjoy the roads without horses and cyclists and Sunday drivers and people that dawdle along at 30 and a 60 people who try to block your path because they don't like bikers or they're miffed because they're sat in a car oh I'd vote for you forever you could raise my taxes as much as you like let me do that and I'd be a happy man for that day at least My mate Jimbo is watching this, he'll have a couple of memories of us doing this ride together on the, on the Jigsaw and a Fireblade. Oh, 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 oh dear, we got away with that one Jimbo. Ooh. These tyres are fantastic, they just feel glued to the road, they give you nothing but confidence. I love them. And we're back into Devon. I just remember the A39 being a mega fast open bit with a nice wee bit towards the end on the way to Minehead where you go over Exmoor. I've forgotten all about these bits. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, but what a view. We're going to be coming up over Exmoor soon. Love this section of road that's coming up. Joe, sure, I don't know if I've ever done this road this way. I normally come up the hill. Yeah, basically folks, either get to Minehead and then follow the A39 all the way to Barnstable or get to Barnstable and follow the A39 all the way through Limpton and then on to Minehead. And that is this road and it is a lot of fun. Maniacs, absolute maniacs. How to ruin a perfectly good road, put cars on it. Goes back to my initial proposal, Mrs May. One day a month, that's all we ask. Reminds me of some French and Spanish roads, this. Yeehaw! You've seen the dark patches and thinking, oh, is that gravel? Sorry, folks, I might have said Limpton. It's not Limpton, it's Linton. L-Y-N-T-O-N. Linton. Beautiful little village. Very nice. Just down here, there's a, a calf and stuff. You see, it's quite a popular place down here. That's where we normally dump the bikes. Nice little place, this. Had a quick stop in Linton, grabbed an ice cream. Beautiful little place, really is. Apparently it got flooded out back in the 50s, and most of the town got dumped into the sea. Again, I wanted to fly the drone, but it's really quite windy up here. Nice and secluded in the town, and you think, oh, I might just whack, it, whack the drone up. But as soon as you get out past all the rocks and everything, it's quite blustery up here. I'm still a bit nervous, if truth be told, about using that drone, especially in front of people. <laughs> Look, a right knobhead if I crash it, or lose it, drift flies out to sea. Didn't actually realise it was quite as late as it is. It's coming up for... 20 past 1 and I'm on my way to Ost Services to meet 
Otto Bennett. Now Otto I met in New Orleans, believe it or not. So friends of mine were picking up some Harleys and riding them across America. And Otto was in a group that they were riding with. So when I got to New Orleans, I met up with my mate Mud and his Mrs. Kirsty, and we met up with Otto and his Mrs. and a whole load of other people, and had a top night out in New Orleans. Love this stretch of road. Beautiful. I remember riding this on my J6R 600, not long after I passed my test. My mate Bosty and my other mate Russ, we were heading to Newquay. <laughs> In November. Good God, it was cold. Also, I am trying to get to you as quick as I can, brother. Bloody hell, it's windy. Look at that view. Look at it. Ocean. Oh, that is stunning. These maniacs cycling it. Well, I got here eventually to Seven View Services. Met up with Otto, who's up ahead, and he's gonna take me for a bit of a play in Wales. I've never ridden with Otto, be interesting. Seems to do quite a few track days, so could be a bit sharpish. Yeah, he is sharpish. <laughs> he's proper sharpish. This could be sprightly. Cheers, Pop, thank you. Over the bridge to Wales. Hello, my lovelies. That's windy. Good man, like that. Nice and steady in the villages. Canes it on the open road. Very quick on the acceleration out of corners. I've got my work cut out just to keep up with him, I think. It's quite nice just following somebody again. This is good, I'm enjoying this. This is the way little Si and I came to recce some roads for chicken strips for the Dancing Druid Tour. And it was doing these roads that blew up the Triumph. So we're just going over the Brecon Beacons, I think. This is us just coming into it. You've got to watch out for its sheep along here. A bit like Scotland, sheep everywhere. Lift your vision right up. Look way, way ahead. Love to get the Mavic up in this, but it's windy as. Look at that for a view. Wow. Beautiful. That's a bit nice. Wow. wow. Let's get the big camera out. Where are we, Otto? Uh, got Abergavenny over there, Krakow's over there where I was brought up. So that's the Black Mountain Range. Uh, that's the Brecon Beacons over there. That's Langorse Lake. And that way is North Wales. Beautiful. And that's the way we're heading. Yeah. Lovely job. <laughs> stop, stop, put my money down. Do the booty. Oh, booty. 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 Do the booty. I've no idea where we are. I've seen town names, but I've got no idea how to pronounce them. It's all L's and G's and W's and T-H's. It's like a roller coaster, this, this road. It's awesome. Woohoo! Look at the views. I'm glad that car's there, because I think this would probably kill us. <laughs> okay, you can get out of the way now. Oh, what beautiful roads. Wow! Oh, man, this is stunning. Good call, Otto. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Look at that. That is an awesome road. And wow. That is unreal. Do you know what this place is called? Yeah. 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 This apparently is the mountain road, and Otto says Top Gear use this, and it is uh, well worth riding and videoing. Let's see what it's got. Oh yeah! Oh, you mucked that up smart, well done. These are very like some of the Scottish roads. Road stuff is beautiful though. Oh wow, look at this road. Wrong gear, you mock that right up smart. It's weird, you get a line wrong, you get the wrong gear, you're going too hot into a corner. Oof, look at 
that. Oh my good God. Wow, wow. Look at that, absolutely stunning. Wow. What a beautiful country. I don't think I've ever seen it in the sunlight. <laughs> Normally be more rain every time I've come here. That is breathtaking. Look at it. That is amazing. It's like a green Spain. Do you know, if you could guarantee weather, at least being dry like this, I'd come to Wales all the time. Beautiful. Time is 10 past six. Been on the road for about 12 and a half hours now. Could do with finding some digs for the night now. Asda, Asda delivers out here, bloody hell. Wonder how much you have to pay for delivery. Ooh, you're interesting. Being alone, I think, is uh, beginning to turn me a little bit mad. End up like Nick Sanders. <laughs> It's been a thoroughly enjoyable day today. Just got to find somewhere to stay now. Oh, that was a good road. All right, buddy. Thank you very much for uh, showing me around, man. Really appreciate it. Top man. Can't believe you got a ride all the way back to Bristol now. <laughs> I thought I was nuts. Snowdonia is just over there. Look at this. It's absolutely sensational. Check this out. Hey, 